Those old guys would tell me, man, the way you love the swamp, you should have seen it when we had the big trees. They had a respect for the environment, but they didn't have the awareness, I guess is the word, that they were destroying their own environment. And, you know, until it was all gone. I guess I have a pretty solid connection with the Chapalaya Basin. And I get part of that I know from my grandfather. He felt the same way. He just had this deep feeling that he had to, had to be part of that. I guess October, November, I just have to be back here. I, you know, whatever else is going on, I would drop everything and come home. It's a real longing to be out in the Jafalai Basin, I guess. But I, I'm out there and it's so beautiful. I said, let me take a couple of pictures and I'll show people back home. And then every now and then somebody would say, <clears throat> you know, that's a nice picture. I wish you'd make an enlargement. I'd like to buy it from you. I just kind of fell into it. So it's important to me now, not only because I can write books about it, but it shows people who never go into the Atchafalaya Basin what it's like, what I see anyway. So as it turned out now, I've published seven books on the Atchafalaya Basin and they've all done well. But there's some kind of importance in undisturbed, undestroyed nature whether you go out and experience it, or camp out there, or go fishing or not, just in the fact that it exists. And it's hard to get people to say, you know, this should be important to you. If it's not important to them, it's not. Don't you understand that it's important? You know, we did that once already. We cut all the cypress trees once already. We, don't, we, we realized it was a terrible mistake. We don't have to do it again. But they're doing it again anyway. I'd like to see a Jafalaya Basin so healthy and productive that anybody who chose to be a crawl fisherman, uh, not only crawfish, cat fishermen, uh, turtle fishermen, crabs and all, whatever we do to make a living, bullfrogs, could say, when I get out of high school, I want to I make my living in the Jafalaya Basin. Then not only we know it's a productive environment, that we know it's a healthy environment and also a place where bird watchers and canoers and photographers and anybody else can go and and see something beautiful and meaningful.